Hey guys, this is week 3 of the Remember Files, but we'll get to that later. A couple of days ago I did a video. This video uh, wasn't necessarily scheduled, it was more of a off-the-fly thing. I felt that some of this things needed to be addressed, this thing needed to be said, because of what was happening, the stripping of women in and around uh, the country. And there was this whole thing that was formed around it called My Dress, My Choice. And on this one, you just, you really have to take a stand. There is no, there is no two ways about it. You're either for it or against it, and you better state where you lie. So my video was mostly against it, because I don't find any, any reason for that to be happening. As in, guys, there are a lot of things we have done in the past. A lot of messed up things that we have gotten away with. But this one, on this one, we, we kind of fucked up. No, actually, we fucked up on this one. Taking the, this is taking us back to the days when the white man was chaining and hanging niggas. This is how bad that shit is. There is no way you can justify that kind of behavior. There is just no positivity based on the situation. Even if you're trying to curb a negative habit, you don't fight it with some more negativity. You should send some positive energy at that shit, and trust me, it's gonna change. Making people mad at you is not gonna make them change. So this video that I did, I think has got the most traffic of all the videos I've done. And there were a bunch of comments, and I wanna talk about two, specifically. Cause in, in my video, I kind of, I, I suggested that if you do not like what a woman is wearing, you can basically look the other way. So, the basic argument was why should they look the other way? The simple answer is because it's your fucking choice. We were all given free will. That's the one thing the good God gave us. That's the one thing he doesn't control. Fucking free will. Do what you want, when you want. All you gotta understand is that you gotta live with the consequences after. And the second guy kind of brought jest into this whole scenario and... To me, he really tickled my ribs. I don't know. Uh, he really, he really made me understand that at times life is just never that serious. So basically, his comment said that, okay, fine, my dress, my choice. So why won't the women let the housemaids at home have that same decision? And that was as funny as shit to me. I found that comment when I was reviewing the rest, and I stopped for about five minutes just to get a hearty laugh out of me. Because women, that's one thing you gotta understand that this shit has to be across the board. You're not gonna fight for your rights while discriminating others. If you have decided that it's my dress, my choice, that shit has to flow across the board. So if your housemaid wants to come to work looking like this, it's her freaking choice. So in other news, uh, the Brovember files are ongoing. This is week three. Like I said, we're not just doing this shit for fun. This is about this is prostate cancer awareness. One thing I should mention, I don't know if you guys know, but they have found a new way to test for prostate cancer. They no longer have to put shit up your culo. They have found a more uninvasive way to test for prostate cancer. So it's good news to most guys, and for those of you who don't know, read about that shit. It's gonna open your mind, it's gonna make you realize that you don't have to be afraid to go for the test anymore. Bottom line of this story, I still stand by what I said. I don't, I'm not changing my theory on this subject. I'm still against this shit, this shit is just wrong. And two, like I said earlier, we all have free will. So ladies, Put on whatever the fuck you want. But be ready to live with the consequences. So if you wanna hit me up, if you wanna get to see more of my stuff, all of all of my links in the description below, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Google page, everything is down there. Hit me up, let me know what you think. The comment section is always open. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more info on everything that's life.